Trace Tinkle, 25 and 10 with seven assists as Oregon State knocks off CSUN by 20. Were things flowing pretty early on for you? Yeah, uh, we knew the game plan was going to be to pressure guys like me and Ethan. Uh, and that's why I feel like I have a couple assists uh, right off the bat just because they're, you know, worried too much on me. So my teammates are doing the job wrong and, you know, they made the game easier. And then once they were scoring, uh, it opened up the game for me as well. Yeah, Trace, Trace they, they cut it to six in the second half and, and coach probably <laughs> called a little bit of a timeout. Yeah. What, what was the difference? Because on that point on, I, th I think you, you got like about a 19 to two run. Just a reality check. We, we, we came in at halftime talking about, you know, not to be satisfied with the 14 point lead. Uh, come out the first four minutes and put it to them and, you know, really separate there. And we came out lethargic. Um, you know, we, we kind of went away from what was working. And so it was just something to wake us up, you know. Uh, like I said, we knew they had shooters. Uh, threes was going to keep them in the game. And sure enough, they hit a bunch, brought it to six. But, you know, I think that kind of got us back into reality and we were able to uh, play our game. Yeah, Tr Trace, what do you think the key is this year? To uh, you, you know you've got you know, got Iowa State coming in on Saturday. you got to go at Wyoming. You, you've got some tough games, Oklahoma. W what's the key to success for Oregon State this year? I think it's got to be just, you know, sticking to the game plan. Um, even in our exhibition game, we knew we were playing shooters and we gave up too many threes. Same with this team. We knew they were going to shoot the ball and that's the only way they're going to stay in the game and, you know, start the game. We, they, I think they had three or four right off the bat. And so uh, we just got to stick to, you know, what the game plan is, what the coaches are telling us. Uh, and if we do that, you know, we execute and we play hard enough to compete with anybody. I was impressed with Kyler Kelly. Now we know he can defend, but he had some great uh, offensive moves in this game, particularly in the second half, that they'll turn around from about six or eight feet. That's something that he's done a lot in practice. Yeah, he has. Uh, he's obviously playing with a lot more confidence. And so, you, you know, we see him in practice or when he's working out doing things like that. So that's not new to us. Uh, but now he's just got the confidence that, you know, shoot it in the game. And, you know, he's playing more aggressive and he's just letting the thing go and he's not thinking. And, you know, he's he's so skilled because he can stretch the floor like that as well. Only two players in Oregon State history have a triple-double. Gary Payton, the elder. Gary Payton, the second. When are you going to get one, man? Hey, soon, soon. I, I was <laughs> soon. hoping a couple more guys would hit a couple more threes tonight. But, you know, it's a long season, so I'm not worried about it. I'm glad we came with the win. Yep. Well, congratulations on the yeah, win. Big, big, big game. You. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good luck on uh, Saturday against Iowa State. Appreciate it. All right.